Welcome to Checkpoint course guys. So this course is actually not designed in perspective of certification only. The key topics from all these four certifications, Checkpoint CCSA, CCSE, Checkpoint VSX Specialist and MDS Specialist. So the key components from these all certifications and its understanding I have put inside in this single course. So this course will actually help you to move from beginner to advanced level. And also if you're already working on checkpoint environment and you want to enhance your troubleshooting and your deployment and your understanding. So this course is for you guys. So these are the topics that we are going to cover in this course. So we'll start with basic topics first, your packet flow, your architecture, how we create policies, and then we move to advanced topics like upgradation, how you do the failover and its troubleshooting, VPNs, and some other advanced topics includes your core Excel, secure Excel, your management servers, high availability, MDS, VSX, and troubleshooting. About myself, my name is Harpreet and I have total more than five years of experience in checkpoint firewall. Now the very first question I have is why we deploy firewalls in our network. Now I have two main reasons for it. So first is I want to protect my network. For that firewalls, we know that firewalls have features like IPS, IDS, threat prevention, antivirus, antiport, and sandboxing. And second reason is I want to enforce restriction. Now, if I want to understand these two points through these diagrams, so we know that we deploy firewalls as the parameter device. So this is internet and this is our host network. So this is our trusted network and this is untrusted network. And we know that most of the bad guys, they sit on the internet. So we make policies on the firewall that actually let our host machines from the trusted network to communicate to the internet. And when we want to stop the unwanted traffic, we actually have policies there. But additionally, we also have features like IPS, IDS, antivirus, antibot and sandboxing. So IPS actually can detect the malicious traffic based upon signatures. And antivirus can see if there is any virus inside the packets. And sandboxing if there is any traffic which we are thinking is malicious, we can actually run it in the sandboxing environment first and then we can pass it to the R and machines. So due to all these features, Firewall becomes a very powerful device which actually prevents our network. But if I see the second reason to enforce restrictions, so if I have users in my network and I do not want them to play games on Facebook but want to allow all other activities, so I can also do those kind of tasks through the firewall. So our, our firewalls are application aware and if they can actually detect, so on the facebook.com, the user is actually wants to play games. And if the policy does not allow it, so it will block that request. Moreover, other features like geo policy through which we actually can define a policy. If the source IP is from particular country, we actually want to block that request. Or if we want to create policies not based upon the IPs, but based upon the user IDs. Or if we want to make the policies based upon the content, like we want to allow only text files or any other kind of files. So all these functionality we can get from the firewall. So these are two main reasons like why we deploy firewalls in our network. Let's kick off the checkpoint part. Checkpoint has three tier architecture, which means there are three main components in its architecture. So first component is smart console. Second component is your security management server. And third component is your security gateway. Now, if I see this diagram, the third component in the architecture is security gateway, which is nothing else your firewall. So in checkpoint terms, we often call firewall as security gateway. 
So this firewall will contain all the policies that admin makes and traffic hit this firewall. Now whether this traffic will be allowed or this will be blocked will depend on what kind of policies this firewall has. Now when it comes to make policies on this firewall, we cannot directly make policies on firewall. Now this is where your second component in the architecture come in the picture, which is your security management server. Now in checkpoint environment, we create all the policies related to ACL or your NAT policies or your VPN policies. All these policies we create on this management server and further this management server push those policies on this firewall. So we can see the policies that we create on the smart console are compiled then they are pushed to security gateway. Now we also call this management server as central management server because it can handle more than one checkpoint firewalls whether it is local or it is remotely. There has to be IP connectivity between the management server and the security gateway. And the first component that we have in the architecture is your smart console. Now this smart console is an application that we install on Windows machine through which we connect this management server. And when we connect management server through smart console, it gives us graphical interface to create policies. Now I want to give an example here. Now if you have a router and you want to make some changes on this router, so we need a terminal software like PuTTY or, or SecureCRT on this machine. And once you have this PuTTY software, so through it, you connect this router on port 22. And that's how you do the configuration on the router. So similarly, we need this smart console software installed on this machine. And through that smart console, we connect to this management server on port 19009. So this is checkpoint port. Now if I look at the order of operation, so I first open this smart console and in this smart console, I put the username. So in this smart console, I enter the username, password and IP of the management server, which in this case is 192.168.1.100. And once I enter that, I click on connect. And after the successful authentication, I would see a graphical interface where I have the option to create policies, to modify existing policies and to edit it. Now, once I'm done with all the changes that I want to do, next thing happens is this management server, it do the verification of the changes. If there is any errors or duplications of the changes that we have made. So once those verification is done, this management server, it compile that policy and that compiled policy is pushed on this security gateway. Now this security gateway has updated the, its policy package and once traffic enter this firewall, it now has the latest policy to enforce those policies on the traffic. Now on the reverse side also, so once traffic hit any policy, their logs are sent from security gateway to this management server. And once this management server has those logs, we can actually see those logs on the smart console. So smart console always talks to your management server and your management server talks to your security gateway. And the communication is similar in the reverse as well. Your gateway talks to your management server and your management server talks to your smart console. In the history, Checkpoint used to use different operating systems like Sun, AIX, Ipso and Suplat. But, but at the current moment, only two operating systems are used. So first is your Windows. So our smart console application, we only install it on Windows. And the second operating system with checkpoint support is Gaia. Now when it comes to deploy your security management server and your security gateway, we deploy it on machines which are running Gaia operating system. Now this Gaia is actually checkpoints on operating system which is actually hardened on 
Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now about the Checkpoint software versions. So when I started working on Checkpoint Firewall, we were running Firewall on version 77, but the latest software version which Checkpoint has is 81.20. Now in this course, we'll do our lab on both the versions, 80.10 and 81.20.